through early September. I'm meteorologist Stacy Donaldson. Afternoon highs today in the 60s here for the Front Range and the Plains. We had 70s down for southeastern Colorado, mostly 50s and 60s for the higher elevations as well. But our fire danger is pretty high. We've already had a fire up in Boulder. Uh, they're actually containing that as we speak, but gusty winds will increase into tomorrow. As a cold front comes our direction, it's really going to start to whip things up around the Front Range. And we actually have a chance for a few showers here late in the afternoon tomorrow during the day and even into the evening hours. Our temperatures at this point are still in the 60s, 64 for DIA, 66 for Aurora and Littleton and 69 for Highlands Ranch. And it's pretty quiet out there. We've had a little more cloud cover move in here over the last few hours at 64 downtown, 17% humidity and our winds in from the east at nine miles an hour. And you see the clouds here across the front range just slowly meandering through across the rest of the state, though it's very quiet. We don't have any rain or snow to speak of yet, but it is coming. And that cold front's getting a little closer. It's into Utah now, and it's headed this direction. So tomorrow during the day, we'll start to see rain and snow first in western Colorado, and then later in the afternoon and evening for the eastern half of the state. Now, fire danger is high. We have a red flag warning in effect tomorrow here from Lyman down toward Trinidad and Lamar, and also high fire danger around Colorado Springs with a fire weather watch as well. But we still have have tinder dry conditions across the front range and the eastern plains so high fire danger everywhere it's just with the higher winds tomorrow and with the higher temperatures we have that red flag warning in effect temperatures tonight though will be in the 50s between 8 and 10 o'clock once we get past midnight we'll drop into the 40s and we'll have 30s for overnight lows here at dia 35 degrees some 40s as well around highlands ranch parker low 30s up around greeley and into platteville and 37 for fort collins our bus stop planner 38 degrees headed out tomorrow morning and then 67 degrees. It'll be a warm day, but then we'll have a chance for a few scattered showers later in the uh, afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the upper 60s here for the Front Range and the Plains tomorrow, close to 80 degrees down toward Lamar and La Junta. Our hour by hour forecast taking us down into the 40s through the overnight hours and eventually into the 30s for our overnight lows. But then tomorrow afternoon, we'll be back up into the 60s for those afternoon highs. Here's our future cast. As I mentioned, tomorrow we'll start to see uh, some rain and some snow up through the higher elevations. The winds really picking up here, which is why we have that red flag warning for southeastern Colorado. Then by 5 o'clock, a line of Showers coming down off the foothills and really winding up across the eastern plains here. So we'll watch that very carefully. This will be by 3.30 in the afternoon, very quickly moving off to the north by 7 o'clock. So I think here around Denver, not so much in the, way a lot, in the way of a lot of rainfall. It'll be up through the northeastern part of our state. Could even be changing over to some snowfall as we head into the early parts of Friday. Not necessarily here in Denver, but yes, for the eastern plains. Up in the mountains, we'll have 40 degrees for Saturday, sunny and mild, and then a chance for snow on Sunday with a high of 30 degrees if you're planning a few runs for the weekend. Seven day forecast taking us into the 50s on Friday with that chance for a morning mix and then Saturday 62 degrees